On this particular table here, we've got a lot of numbers, but it's not very obvious which of these numbers have just been entered and which of these numbers have been generated through a formula in that cell. Now, whether it's for your own interest or whether you're looking quickly through a spreadsheet and want to quickly see where your formulas are, or whether you're a student and as part of your assessment you need to submit a copy of your spreadsheet with all the formulas displayed, uh, you need to know how to be able to quickly and easily flick between the two forms of your table, the one where all the calculations are carried out and the one where all of your formulas are displayed. So how do you do that? Well, there are two ways to do it very quickly. Uh, the first way is to go up to the ribbon at the top and find the Formulas tab, just there in the middle. We'll click the Formulas tab, and what you're looking for is the section called Formula Auditing. Now, the Formula Auditing section provides a, a few buttons here. You're looking for this one. It looks like two triangles with uh, the number 15 in the top left triangle. And this one here is the Show Formulas button. You can also see the second way of achieving the display of formulas in the little pop-up window that's appeared. Just as I hover over that button, it shows in brackets the keyboard shortcut that will achieve the same thing. I'll show you that in just a second. So to show the formulas, we simply click on this button in the Formula Auditing tab, and there you are. Straight away, you can see all of the formulas have been displayed. So we have them all here. They're not being calculated, they're just being displayed. Now one thing you do notice is that the formatting of your spreadsheet goes haywire. So the central alignment that I had here, that's gone. The width of the cells has gone. So what we can do very quickly is if I just click this uh, tab here, it's just to the left of the column A indicator and just above the row one indicator, this little square between the two. If I click that, that highlights the whole of my spreadsheet. And then if I find the vertical line between the A and the B column indicators, so that my mouse appears as a small black vertical line with two arrows coming out of either side, if I double click there, that will automatically reduce all of the column widths of the entire table to best fit the contents of those columns. So you can see all of my columns now, they're slightly different widths, but that doesn't matter. They're the minimum width required to be able to display all of the information. So now at a glance, we can see all of the formulas displayed without working out the totals. Don't worry about trying to format everything. You could spend, or rather waste, a good deal of time trying to do that. Anything you do here won't affect your spreadsheet once you switch back to looking at the calculations. Now, in order to go back to our spreadsheet as we had it before, with all of these formulas actually carrying out the answers, we simply go back up to this same button, so that's the Formulas tab of our ribbon, and then the Formula Auditing section, and find that little button with the two triangles, show formulas. So we click on that, and there we are. We're back to having our formulas calculate the answers so we can see the results of those. Again, the column widths have all gone uh, haywire. So once again, the best way of doing this is simply click on that little button to the left of the A and above the 1. That highlights the whole sheet. And then either double click on the line between the A and the B. It doesn't actually matter which two column headings you double click on, any of them will do. So let's double click on that line between the D and the E, and that automatically fits all of the column widths uh, to best fit. Alternatively, we could simply drag out one of those column widths, and that automatically makes every single column in the whole spreadsheet the exact same width. So we could do it that way as well. Now the other way of displaying our formulas, as well as pressing this button, is as you can see, the keyboard shortcut control, and then it looks a little bit as though it's the single speech mark or the apostrophe. It's not. The keyboard shortcut for displaying formulas is actually control and the grav sign. Uh, now the grav sign is uh, often forgotten or ignored. People don't know where that is. To find it on your keyboard, find the row of numbers along the top of your keyboard, the numbers 1 through to 0, 
and immediately to the left of the number one is uh, a little button with probably two or three odd symbols that you rarely use. Uh, that symbol, that, that uh, button is just above the tab button on your keyboard as well, so to the left of the number one and above the tab, that's the Grav symbol, looks like a small apostrophe. And if you hold the control button down while pressing the Grav symbol, you can see there we are, straight away I've displayed all the formulas, and then again, pressing control and the Grav symbol snaps back to displaying the spreadsheet normally. So two ways there of very quickly being able to display and hide your spreadsheet formulas.